the Territory's leaders back in Alice Springs, preparing for big changes in the outback town. Alice Springs is important to all of us. The Red Centre still the centre of attention for the nation's politicians, with Indigenous Australians Minister Linda Burney also expected to touch down, as the NT government prepares its new Aboriginal community liquor ban laws. So we anticipate the legislation will pass next week. It will then uh, go through a process, but it will be in place in the Northern Territory at the end of next week. We're yet to be provided any briefing on the legislation, and my concern is that they are literally making it up as they go along. Also in Alice tomorrow, the NT's opposition leader, who says the town's residents have been let down by those in charge amid an ongoing surge in crime. Next week in Parliament, we will introduce a motion of no confidence in the government for their failure to do the very basics of government, and that is keep a community safe. It will be a, a symbolic gesture, but um, I think the people of Alice Springs and Central Australia would expect us to do something like that. The NT's top lawmaker yesterday referred to the NT's anti-corruption watchdog over allegations of a conflict of interest with an Alice Springs Aboriginal Council. The perception by many, and these are just allegations and perceptions, is that uh, Minister Paik has um, preferred Tungandjira, he, he's given them preferential treatment. In a statement, the Attorney General branded the allegations as baseless political point scoring. And with the new alcohol ban legislation set to be introduced to Parliament on Tuesday, a fiery week of sittings lies ahead. Matt Garrick, ABC News.